fecal calprotectin, predicts clinical course in ulcerative colitis patients undergoing granulomonocytophrasis. The concentration of calprotectin, a calcium binding protein increases in feces during the disease activity in ulcerative colitis. Granulomonocytophrasis has emerged as an effective therapy in mild to moderately active ulcerative colitis with a satisfactory safety profile. Fecal calprotectin has been widely used as a non-invasive surrogate marker to detect intestinal inflammation in patients with inflammatory bowel disease. However, the relationship of fecal calprotectin measurement during granulomonocytophrasis for ulcerative colitis is not studied extensively. The study was performed to assess the fecal calprotectin value for assessment of disease activity and prediction of clinical course in ulcerative colitis patients undergoing granulomonocytophrasis therapy. Patients who were endoscopically and histologically diagnosed with ulcerative colitis were included in the study. People having moderately active ulcerative colitis with Mayo score 6 to 9 and Mayo endoscopic subscore of 2 or 3 was selected for the study. Individuals having active disease, despite receiving one or more medications, were eligible for the study. Patients having low leukocyte and hemoglobin count, malignancy, or serious concomitant cerebral, pulmonary, cardiac, hepatic, or renal disorders were excluded from the study. Subjects with bleeding disorder or a history of hypersensitivity reaction to an anticoagulant, toxic megacolone, fulminating colitis, peritonitis, or sepsis, were not included in the study. The prospective cohort study included 184 individuals meeting the inclusion criteria. The study subjects were given adaculum granulomonocytophrasis therapy. The fecal calprotectin was measured at entry and after treatment. Overall, the median fecal calprotectin levels showed a significant decrease after treatment. A significant decrease in fecal calprotectin levels was observed in patients who achieved mucosal healing, but no significant reduction was noted in patients without mucosal healing. The median fecal calprotectin level at the end of granulomonocytophrasis therapy was significantly higher in patients who relapsed than in those without relapse. Based on the results it was concluded that fecal calprotectin is a suitable biomarker in ulcerative colitis patients undergoing granulomonocytophrasis for evaluating endoscopic activity and predicting clinical course.